everyone. Today I'm going to be discussing the formidable challenge that is urban sustainability. According to the United Nations reports, by the year 2050, our planet is expected to accommodate urban expansion equivalent to adding 250 cities the size of New York, leading to significantly straining existing infrastructure resources. This rapid urbanization, coupled with climate change, presents a daunting challenge. How do we ensure that our cities are sustainable, resilient, and livable for an ever-growing population? At the heart of this issue is the current urban planning paradigm, which often fails to adequately address the ever-changing nature of this crisis. Traditional planning methods are no longer sufficient. We need a paradigm shift towards a more systems-oriented approach that can rapidly adapt to the needs of our ever-growing urban environments. This new approach must be holistic, considering all facets of urban life, from energy consumption and transportation to the integration of green spaces. Moreover, the urgency of urban sustainability crisis requires the adoption of fast decision-making tools. Utilizing predictive modeling, these tools allow for the assessment of outcomes of various development strategies, laying a critical foundation for informed city design. They can also better facilitate public engagement by making planning processes more transparent and accessible. The probability of a future climate bringing a significant increase in extreme weather events only heightens the need for these dynamic tools to drive adaptive and resilient urban designs. To address this issue, the VIP that I'm a part of, Surrogate Modeling for Urban Regeneration, under Dr. Patrick Kastner, is centered on the creation of innovative urban planning solutions. The incorporation of machine learning in urban planning allows for a more nuanced understanding of complex urban systems. By analyzing and interpreting vast amounts of data we can identify patterns and trends that inform sustainable development decisions. This includes anticipating the needs of a growing population, optimizing resource allocation, and designing infrastructure that is both efficient and environment friendly. We have four sub-teams, each dedicated to pivotal aspects of urban sustainability, ranging from microclimate to mobility dynamics. My sub-team is focused on developing models aimed at optimizing building energy consumption. Building energy consumption has steadily increased over the past decade worldwide. And heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, HVAC, account for most of the energy used in buildings. By optimizing the design parameters to minimize the heating and cooling loads, it is possible to minimize the total energy consumption of a building. This optimization process can be done using simulation tools that are capable of predicting the heating and cooling loads on a set of design parameters, as well as using optimization algorithms that can search for the optimal set of parameters that minimize both the heating and the cooling load. However, it is time consuming and computationally expensive to run batch simulations for set purposes. In this project, we are training machine learning models on available data set of design parameters and corresponding energy consumption. Once the models are trained, they can be used as surrogate models in this optimization process. The optimization algorithms will update the models and use them to predict the energy consumption for different sets of design parameters and select the next set of design parameters to evaluate based on the estimated performance of the models. This semester, our ambitious objective is to create a comprehensive map of Atlanta that not only highlights energy consumption for each and every building in the city, but also integrates mobility walk scores and public for public pathways and a detailed microclimate data set. Thank you.